What's up, fake moon prince? What's up, Anigail? I want to make a moderator training video. Moderator training video, like for a server? I'm very much real. Yeah, you're really fake. What's up, bros? Good to see ya. Suki! I'm here with freeze-dried Jolly Ranchers. I've never heard of that in my life, but that sounds like something I want to try before I die. It is good to be here. I'm glad you're here. I know it doesn't sound like it, but don't worry guys, I'm just really tired. Past couple weeks have been pretty tough at work. Which is why I haven't been streaming very often, but we're here now. So, it's all good. And I forgot to bring my water again. Ah, it's okay. I'm probably not going to get thirsty. No one gets thirsty in Phoenix. Well, I hope you all had a wonderful Easter weekend last weekend. I hope you found all of the eggs. They actually hid some eggs at my job, and um, two of them had cash in it. I unfortunately did not find any of those eggs. I found eggs with candy in them, and one of them was sitting on top of the cappuccino machine while it was turned on. So the chocolate melted. That was not fun. Making bad mental health choices, but I have my potato chips, Spoke Kid, and Dr. Pepper for comfort. Well, hopefully those things balance out. If not, I would make better mental health choices. That, uh, that usually works for me. Uh, moderator is a job and bow that mutates your magic beyond repair and destroys everything about you from the inside out. So then why would anybody want that job? What's up, kitchen appliance? Not much. What's up, blue rat dude? Just gonna continue with Undertale Yeller. What's up, Nate? Good to see ya. So last we left off. I believe Starlo got abandoned by his team, by his crew, and now they're fighting or something like that. I don't remember. Something like that. I'm living, laughing, and loving my way through life currently. Well, I'm glad. That's better than dying, crying, and hating. Ah, yes, the sad music. But does Clover give a shit? Nope. I'm gonna get Martlet, and then we're gonna get the fuck out of here. Hey, Martlet. Uh, let's break out. I kind of overheard what happened outside. Uh, I know I shouldn't feel this way, but maybe you should go after the sheriff, Clover. I know he did some mean stuff, but he's out there all alone now. You've gained his trust, so maybe you could sort of sort out the situation? You know, I think we both forgot the fact that you're a bird and you fly. So why don't you just fly over those poles right there and we can get the fuck out of Dodge? That'd be great. 
And, uh, we still need him to let me out of here, of course. <laughs> Have fun, Squeeb. Why are you talking to yourself again, dude? Hey, Soul, you better fix that. I sent you a link where you can get the freeze-dried Jolly Ranchers for cheap. Hope you enjoy. Oh, cool. Thanks. I will totally check that out. And probably have to wait till next paycheck because I just paid my rent. And my electric bill. And my phone bill. I am a poor dish. Very poor dish. I'm not even. I'm not even 99 cent value menu. I'm like 99 cent store. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like those crinkly ass generic brand potato chips that you get at the 99 cent store. Yeah, that's me right now. You can do this, Clover. If you could convince this bird brain, you can get through to him. All right. Also, you do realize that's an insult in in uh, human terms. I wonder what that means in uh, in bird universe when someone calls you a bird brain. Is that still an insult? North Star is the worst. Hate that guy. Right? Hey, I don't actually think North Star sucks. I just say whatever's popular in hopes to rise in the Wild East ranks. Uh, I kind of need North Star to return ASAP. Who else am I supposed to blindly follow in life? My dad? Sure, if I want to grill meat and browse sketchy internet pages all day. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, hey, hey. Yo, where can a brother get some of that? <laughs> sketchy internet pages, that's crazy. Um, do you have anything? It's probably not the best time to chat. I'm real worried about everything going on right now. Okay, I figured. Alright. Amaya Blushy will come in the mail soon. She will be in timeout soon for her crimes. Well, why, why don't you just send her to permanent timeout? That would save us all a lot of trouble. I has hot fries and Rice crispy treats as I'm on a snack break. Ooh, that sounds good. I actually prefer hot fries over hot Cheetos. Don't know why. Never really liked hot Cheetos growing up. Before you fight Starlow, you should get some waters. Okay. Let me get some waters then. I have a feeling I gotta get that at the saloon. Um, I'm assuming ice waters. Oh, we're gonna fight him, aren't we? Okay. All right, got me some waters. I'm just trying to visit everybody, make sure there isn't any like special dialogue or something. I don't know. I might be missing something. Hey, kid, sorry about the whole train thing earlier. I love playing the villain, but I never considered how the others feel. Maybe in the end, that's what makes me the real villain. I want to move on once this is all blows over. You know, get an honest job and move to a more, uh, conventional place. Vengeful Virgil Redemption Arc. Here we go. Good for you, bro. Good for you. Dish, do you have some Arizona sweet tea? Oh, you mean it's just Arizona tea? We just call it Arizona tea. And, uh... Well, is this actually progress over here? I don't remember this being here. I thought it was somewhere else. Oh, well. I will be fine. Howdy. I was hoping Starlo ran to his parents or something. Looks like you'll have to confront him. Do what you do best. I'm always rooting for you. I mean, I know that flower's Azrael, but because of the time period we're in, I, I just can't help but give him a Western accent. Uh, 
We're not killing it, the child. No, we're not gonna kill it. We're gonna kill. If you dislike hot Cheetos, then you don't have tst. Yeah, I don't have tst. I don't even know what tst is. You're probably gonna die a lot. Cool. Alright. Well, let's go die a lot then. Ooh, it's a puddle. Oh, there's several puddles here. Oh. Oh, dramatic wind breeze going through the, the dude. I'll have to draw you dressed as a cowboy now. I mean, hey, I, I won't say no. I think that'd be cool. Draw me up like a vaquero. Hot Cheetos are yummy. I just never liked Hot Cheetos growing up. I mean, if they were available, I would eat it, but... They're not something I particularly enjoyed. I much prefer, like, the regular Cheetos. Like, just the regular cheesy, crunchy Cheetos. I just don't want to eat them right now because I have COVID. Ah, that sucks. Why did this happen? I did everything in my power to entertain. So monsters wouldn't have to worry about being stuck down here. At every turn, I tried to cheer Saroba up. I just wanted Kaneko off her mind. I'm trying my best to honor her memory. Our distractions were best for all of that. I thought I was in her monologuing. You. Why'd you follow me? Are you still my friend? I mean, I don't know. What, what you got, cuz? Cheetos puffs? No, just the regular, uh, regular cheese Cheeto, like the crunchy ones. Cheese puffs are good, too, though. I like those better than hot Cheetos, but I like the crunchy ones better. Does this mean Dish can't handle spice? No, it's not that I can't handle hot Cheetos. It's just I don't like the, the taste of it. Or the the taste of the spice with the texture of the Cheeto. I don't know. I just never really enjoyed it all that much. If I want a spicy chip, I would rather... I'll get like a, a bag of, uh, of Salsa Verde chips from Doritos. Or I'll get... Um, oh, God. What were those other chips that I really like that are spicy? It's on the tip of my tongue, but it's also like a salsa verde chip. I'd rather eat those than hot Cheetos. Puffs are better than crunchy ones, in my opinion. I respect that. I prefer the crunchy ones, but puffs are good. I won't be mad at either one of them. Hold on. This is all happened after you showed up. It specifically mentioned you as the problem. That's right. I was just being a good friend. I made you who you are, yet this is what I get. Let's face facts. I could keep you here forever, kid. Word would have got out that Feathers hadn't clocked in eventually. Feathers. Wait a minute. Roll guards like her have a ton of status. They gained that status by doing the king's work. I'm sure... I'm sure everyone would come back if I did the same. I'd be revered not only in the Wild East, but in the entire underground. Maybe even the Wild West. I... Clover, you've been an excellent deputy, but... As a lawman, what I'm about to do is embedded in my soul. You're gonna cry to Mom? My true du... Shut up! I'm not crying, you crying! Don't... Don't make this difficult for me. Just... Just hold. Steal. What the... F oh no. Oh no. Uh, um... 
Interesting. Okay. This is a new mechanic. <laughs> huh. I know I'm better than this. A dignified sheriff would face their opponent fairly. However, you're no everyday bandit, so get ready. Whoa, whoa, you didn't give me... I, I had my hand off the keyboard and I just got shot point blank. <sighs> Good luck. Thanks. I feel a bit better. Nose is still stuffy and we're in a fight. Yeah, honestly, my least favorite part about being sick with that kind of thing, like a cold or a fever, is the stuffy nose. That just... <sighs> bothers me so much. I hate stuffy noses. Sore throats are really bad, too. Um... Bite? What are we... You know what? Let's bite. <laughs> you chomp and pull at the lasso, but it only gets tighter. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Even tied up, you're skilled. I sure have an eye for talent. Oh god. Starlo keeps a steady eye on you. Uh alright, so biting isn't gonna do anything. Struggling. Sounds like it's just gonna get tighter, so we're just gonna stare at him. I have to go back to work in a bit, but I get out at eleven thirty my time. What is it right now? Like ten? Struggle. Ah, okay. You squirm inside your leather cage to no avail. Steve, part of me wishes things could have stayed the way they were. Ten sixteen. Oh, okay, you're three hours ahead of me. All right. My friends think I could have some immune disorder. This fight is pretty funky to watch. <laughs> Love the segue there. You squirm inside your leather cage to no avail. Why'd you have to set foot in my town? Why was it in the way to where I need to go? Just a few hours ago, everybody was getting along. Now, well, we're here. Oh, what the hell? It's dynamite! Howdy, Dish. I see you're on the comboy fight. Yes, the comboy fight. <laughs> Square inside your jacket, no veil. This is the only way to fix things. Is to kill me? The only way I know. God, you really are an American. Oh. Oh! Oh, oh lord, oh lord, oh lord, I, okay. Ooh, spider dough. Give me the spider dough. Don't worry, spider didn't. Spider didn't what? What did the spider do? What did the spider do? Someone tell me right now. And why wasn't I invited? Struggle some more. Quit squirming so much. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> okay. A tumbleweed rolls by. It says hello. Hey, what's up, bro? How you doing? You just tumbling along? That's cool. That's cool. I like it. I like it. You drink the ice water. Definitely has a taste, but you can't describe it. Does water have a taste? Can something taste like water that isn't water? Because if you taste something that's that tastes like water, isn't it just water? Is water the absolute neutral taste? Does it even exist? I don't know. 
Clover, you gotta understand. Oh, what is... Oh, okay, I see, I see. Oh, God, I did terrible. <laughs> um, give me some more ice water. Come on. Give it up already. Oh, God. No, okay. <laughs> uh, we'll just keep struggling. Fine. I didn't want to use this, but I got no choice. Goodbye, partner. Oh, shit. Okay, so it's about to get serious. Hold on. Here we go. Give it to me. Stay still! I don't want to hit my lasso. Oh, I see. I gotta get him to shoot his precious little lasso. <laughs> I'm gonna make you shoot your whip, bro. And I'm not talking about your ride. Hey, I did it! Look what you made me do! That lasso's made from premium materials! What, cardboard? Hey, I'm free! No! No way! Outsmarted by a deputy? At least it's a fair showdown now. Time for a real duel. Wait, can I actually run away? No, okay, I can only spare. Um, alright. Cool, so I'm free from the lasso. I've got rope burns, but hey, you know. That's nothing new. Whoa. Spin, focus, glare. Uh. Why, why would I want to sp Fuck it, we're gonna spin. You spin your six-shooter several times to intimidate Starlo. I'm gonna miss our time together. I mean that. Oh, God. Okay, so that's spin. I'm just going... With my little gun. But I haven't even fired it once, though. Starlo tries to tape his lasso back, but can't find the end of the tape on his <laughs> You know what? That's actually a mood. Which is why, whenever I'm done using tape and it's in a roll, I fold one of the corners in and then put the tape away. So that when I get the tape again, I just have to reach for the corner that I fold it over and I'm able to pull it out just fine. There's a life hack for you. Um, okay, let's focus. You take a deep breath to prepare for the next attack. Okay, that might be what I need to do. At first, I was truly happy. I thought you were the real deal. Oh, God. <laughs> uh... I may actually fight autocorrect. It keeps correcting does to dies. <laughs> all of my sacrifices, all the nice sires, those didn't matter anymore because what I had was special. Wow, I'm going super slow now? Uh, who, who has the power to stop time or to slow down time in this world? Is it Starlo? Uh, my dude? W when were you able to do this? <laughs> I'm gonna start drawing now. Okie dokie. Like, no, I don't want to die. I want to do jazz hands. Jazz hands. Well, you're about to catch these hands. Oh, god. No, you're not. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't hit you. I wouldn't hit anybody. Why would I hit somebody? You take a deep breath to focus. But now I've realized the truth. The sheriff stuff is worthless. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! 
Starlo keeps two steady eyes on you. Oh shit, I only have one ice water left. Woo do I take a do I take a risk and just move forward? Oh god. Starlo has time stop head? I guess so. Maybe his cowboy hat is just a time stop hat that's been modified. Wing it! Oh yeah. We gon' wing it! Y'all tap justice, but true underground status is only secured through pine. Alright, Emo Starlo confirmed, I guess. Monster Kai's heroes are title soaked in blood. Oh! Oh, Lord! Oh, Lord! I died. <laughs> There's no way this fraud bested you. Come on, show him who the real gunslinger is. <sighs> Do I have all of my stuff back? I mean, now I know what to expect, so I should hopefully do better this time. Ah, you missed, bitch. Let me just make sure I have all of my stuff. Yes, okay, I do. Probably should have gotten a lot more ice waters, but the thing is, I don't have All right, let's... Oh, God! Okay. Easy, easy. You ain't shit, Starlo. You ass, bruh. Starlo's lasso grips you tightly. Uh, bro, I need to breathe? Can I please breathe? A little bit, you know. That would be cool, bro. Yeehaw! <laughs> What's up, Green Hydra? Welcome to the string, my friend. This is my second time fighting this dunce. He killed me the first time. Oh, God! Not the bombs! Not the bombs! Alright, that went too bad. Oh god, this attack. Okay. No! Okay. <laughs> I only got hit by it once. Damn, that does a lot of damage, though. Holy shit. Ow. How did that bullet not hit me? You know what? I'm, I'm not even going to question it. Oh, you know what? Clover has, um, Matrix powers. He's Neo! Clover's Neo in this world. <laughs> Alright, I'm definitely gonna have a spider donut. Quit squirming so much! Oh no, I'm supposed to stay still with that. I, I was... I'm so bad at dodging those. <laughs> uh, I should have uh, definitely should have healed before I, I moved on. Oh god, this might be the stream, guys. <laughs> I might end up doing this for the entire two hours. <laughs> I apologize in advance. Oh god! No, 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 we're not fighting. We're just gonna keep struggling. You squirm inside your leather cage. I thought it was a lasso, not a cage. So it's pretty much uh, confirmed that this whole Western Wild East bullshit is just an act. Like, everyone's LARPing. And it's because the underground sucks and they need to have fun. I can respect that. 
I mean, if I had to LARP to keep my mind from going crazy because there was nothing to do, I think that's valid. I wouldn't choose a Western, though. I would LARP something else. But I don't know what. I have to think about that. Sticks! Oh god. Please! This is illegal! It's not even 4th of July! Okay. Yeehaw, Amercia! Yes, Amercia indeed. <laughs> oh god, no, it's this one! Oh, I did that one pretty good. <laughs> You know, Starlo, if you did that attack more often, you'd probably kill me a lot quicker. Just saying, I'm terrible at that attack. Alright. We're gonna keep struggling. Oh god! I almost died. Please give me the ice water. Thank you very much. I'm so bad at that attack. <laughs> I ran into every single one of those pieces of glass. I'm terrible at this. <laughs> Why didn't I hit your lasso? I believe in you, Squeeb! Thanks. Hey, we escaped again! Alright, we're gonna... You know what? I haven't done glare yet. I wonder what happens if I just glared at him. Just stared right into his soul. You shoot a nasty look at Starlo. Okay, I guess I did nothing. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh, I did it again. Okay. I glare at people all the time. <laughs> I I believe you. Oh god. Time stop hat time! No! I ran right into that thing. That's bullshit. Okay. Uh, let's see what's what's the next attack. That went too bad. Holy Jesus, I'm getting so many notifications from Roleplay Chat. <laughs> Must be poppin' then. God, I remember I used to do a lot of roleplaying back in the day. Don't really do it as much anymore. I don't know, I just kind of fell out of it, I guess. Alright, I think this is the part where I died last time. Yep! Tough, dude. This human wannabe is a total pushover. Bet you'll crack if you survive long enough. <laughs> That's. I'm, I'm trying to do that, bro. I am desperately trying. I just really suck at it. 
do do. Yes, I'm stuck in the lasso. Haha, <laughs> this is funny. This is so funny, dude. I love it. Oh, that got me. Oh, that got me too! Oh god, okay, this is not going well already. <laughs> Boomsticks. I roleplay a lot. It's fun to play different characters. I've roleplayed as a Maya, Moon Jumper, Sunny. There's another OC of mine. Now oh, there's another character I just can't remember. That's fair. It's a great way to, like, storytell and come up with ideas for things. I find. For some reason, I never got into roleplay even as a teen. Like, I don't know how to do it. I mean, different people do it differently. From what I gather. <laughs> you just have to find the right person that has a style that works for you. Oh my god, I gotta remember that one pops out. Um, the second you like. The second that you see the first one drop. Hey, I didn't die on that one. That's good. I play as a lot of bow characters and talk about bow lore in there and force it down people's throats. You know? Maybe that's not the best approach. <laughs> Smells like leather boots, dashing looks. I mean, I guess. Okay, this one. I will never understand how to dodge any of those. I'm just... I guess I'm just forever cursed to be hit by that. This part of the fight. Oh, you didn't hit your thing? Oh, god damn it. Okay. I had to go the other way. God damn it. Okay. Alright, I got it. I understand. It's gonna hit it totally this time. Told you. He didn't hit it a single time. Not did that not hit it. Oh, God damn it. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I just imagined this part of the fight. Clover's just running around with with their arms in the air, just wildly screaming while Stark was trying to blast them with lead. <laughs> I love to write, trying to reboot one of my A hit AUs currently in roleplay chat right now. I'm playing as Ghost Amelia. She's gonna come back to life soon. Well, that's cool. Alright, here we go. That attack is so hard. 
Now I have two heal items left. This is not gonna go well. All right, here we go. Oh, it's a slow-mo. Ah! <laughs> oh God, that sucks. Okay. Okay, I think the next one is the the attack that always gets me, so I'm going to eat the spider donut. Now let's see what happens. <sighs> oh god, I did it! <laughs> I actually dodged that stupid attack. Starlock tries to tape his lasso, but he sucks ass. Okay. We're just gonna continue focusing. In the end, it doesn't even matter. I tried so hard and got so far. Oh god! Oh Jesus Christ. Starlow's left hand is shaking. Do I still have an item? I have nothing. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have to not get hit anymore. <sighs> Wait. Why'd the music stop? One. I have one left in my chamber. I'll make this game. No! I can't move! What? Uh, what? Starlo! Uh, Stop this right now. Oh, it's Saroba. Uh, Who have you become? Uh, because this sure as hell ain't the Starlo I grew up with. Saroba. Now's not a good time for this. Don't kick me while I'm down, please. I... I'm sorry, Star. I know this is weighing heavily on you, but listen. None of us hate you. The real you. We adore you. What we hate is this false, reckless persona you've created. <laughs> oh, he's got a little pout. He's got a little poochy lip like... Mm. <laughs> He's like a fucking puppy. <laughs> I have my own baggage. We all do. I don't even know if I have room to say this, but... Bring him back. Bring back the innocent farmer I once knew. I just... wanted to be appreciated. Revered by all. I was trying to provide a slice of the surface where we have none. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not even telling you to quit running the town. Just don't let this identity consume you. It isn't healthy. Very well. Clover, I'm terribly sorry for attacking you. I do value your friendship and the time we've spent together. You have every right to make fun, but... I'm a fucking nerd. <laughs> this is who I really am. I'm not real sheriff, just some nobody farmer. Don't say that, Star. You may not be a real sheriff, but you're the best sheriff I've ever known. Yeah, I suppose I am kind of cool. Dark, right. But this whole show ain't wasn't only for some personal power trip. I also did it to to cheer you up. You might have wanted the old me, but I also wanted the old you. Because of 
Canico. Who the fuck is Canico? I already forgot like the lore of this game. I I don't recognize that name at all. I um appreciate that, Star. I I believe I have business to take care of relating to her. What do you mean? I must tell you something. I suppose Clover should know as well. As much fun as it is to have duels and catch bandits, there's a pressing matter looming over me. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Let's go to the old Steamworks game. We'll speak there. Sarope! Come on. I guess you're really part of the team now, Clover. You heard her. Uh. Clover! Clover! So, I have good news and bad news. I'll start with the good. <clears throat> Turns out, the wife of that old friend I told you about is here. Her name is Seropa. You probably met her already. Now that I think about it, <laughs> she broke my cell lock with the stick magic stuff and let me go. That actually says staff, not stuff. But she totally attacked it with magic stuff, too. Kaneko is Saroba's child, I think. Oh, okay. I also made sure she knew I wouldn't tell Asgore about this. So. Oh, that's taken care of. The bad news. Um, I'm about to go back on my word, sadly. I know I just said I wouldn't leave your side, but then, you know... This crazy detour happened! I also realized I threw my job to the, tr to the wind to travel with you, but... Since the imprisonment took up so much time, I have to go back. If I don't at least clock in, I'm not going to get any of those vacation hours. <laughs> also, the Royal Guard would grow suspicious. I'm here now. The party is permitted to start. Yo, let's go. What up, Grant? Did you bring the cake, though? We can't have a party without cake. I didn't make art. I just made eyes on black background and called it a day. You know what? Sometimes it's just like that. Some days are like that. <laughs> the Royal Guard will be suspicious. Plus, he was totaled. <laughs> it was their property. I'll only be gone for a moment to fix my mistakes. Sir Robin cursed his decision, so don't worry. She told me she would accompany you to the journey to Hotland. So, hey, it all works out. Again, I'm so, 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 so sorry about this, but uh, <laughs> I'll see you later. You bitch! Get your ass back here, bitch! You blue flying ass looking fucking. I'm actually just back to save for it real quick. What are you doing back here? The X is the other way, silly. Let's get going. I'm trying to save you. Nuts. And restore HP. I'll get a cake. A bean cake with baked bean frosting. You know what? That sounds not as terrible as it probably is. I would take a bite. Oh! There was a thing up here. Howdy! You're becoming a pro at this, buddy. At this rate, you'll be able to confront Asgore himself. Are you sure about that? I don't know. Oh. Oh, these, that's a gate. Okay, I can't go through the gate. Ooh. What's this? You attempt to turn the pump on, but the handle won't budge. Shit. Well, I guess we're all gonna die of thirst. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? What the hell are you? Sorry, can't talk long. I'm preparing for harvest. Must be one of those wild east folk. Huh? No, I, I didn't say anything. 
Have you been to Snowden? I've heard rumors of our crops being cultivated around those parts. I'm thinking of opening up an investigation soon. I'm not bored or anything, just want to protect the business. Don't you have role-playing to do or something? <laughs> Shootouts, inconveniencing pedestrians... That's all Bro does after all. He's always up to something. Having fun while I'm stuck with the farm work. Ugh. Go on, I have work to do. Oh, this is Starlow's Bro. Dang, Starlow abandoned the family business so he can pretend to be a sheriff. That's hilarious. Also kind of sad. That's Orion. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Welcome to Sunnyside Farm. It ain't much, but we call it home. My name's Solomon. You must be from Starlow's town, huh? I have mixed feelings about it all, if I'm being honest. The boy rarely talks to us. It's a shame. He probably thinks we hate his life choices, but that just ain't true. It's because of him that our farm stayed in business during the oil drought. There's a little town attracted monsters to this area after most moved away. I believe that deep down, saving the farm was his true motivation. I do. I think it's real flattering, the accent Starla puts on for his character. He almost sounds like his old man, he does. In reality, my boys both got Christina's voice, lucky fellers. Before they were born, she would always sing so purdy like. I never hear it no more, though. Guess she lacks the confidence now. Ain't that sad. The crops are looking mighty fine if I do say so. I would give you some, but they ain't quite ready to eat. If you're around Oasis Valley this weekend, stop by the farmer's market. Okay, that's it. What a goober. For real. Starlow's bro. Okay, Orion is Starlow's bro. And then Solomon is his dad. Sunnyside farm sounds like an actual farm name I think there's going to be a lawsuit I would not be surprised Ooh, what's that up there is that a bunker what is this the cellar is locked must be where the harvest is stored oh uh, okay oh look the mail thing is up there I guess we'll check the mail but first I kind of want to just walk around here see what's up Starlow's mom and dad are the moon and the sun. Starlow and Ryan are stars. I think that's neat. Oh, that makes sense. Wait. Oh, there we go. Hello again. I have some news. You now can ship yourself if you so choose. <laughs> wow. Ship myself? What could that be? <laughs> oh, God. That actually reminds me. Do you guys remember there was a there used to be a Kmart commercial where I guess if you ordered something on Kmart.com or something, they would ship it to you. And so throughout the commercial, they just kept saying, "Oh, I shipped my pants. I also shipped my pants." <laughs> And I think they had to, like, take it off the air because it was too misconstruable. <laughs> but, I don't know, I thought that was pretty clever. Prince is probably down there in that cellar. Well, can't be a farm in Utah unless there's a rapture bunker. Very true. So this is a Mormon family. Transportation, all for free. If you want to travel, give me a call. We will set to the skies without a care at all. Now I must go, but don't be nervous. Just ring the bell for our service. Alright, that's cool, that's cool. So, I wonder if... If, uh, if this is going to follow Undertale... Uh, logic, or Undertale thing, and like if you go back... You could like do something extra like you know how like you could have the date with papyrus or you could uh hang out with undying i wonder if going back there will be something similar but before we do that i'm gonna go inside this house and see what is up oh look at this a 
A dirty hat similar to Starlow's rests on the rack. Always good to have a backup. You check in between the cushions for loose change. All you find are crumbs and corn kernels. Damn it. What about in here? The fireplace is riddled with cobwebs. Regular cobwebs. Damn. Uh, oh, this is, oh, this is, uh, the wife. Fuck, I already forgot her name. Uh, ship yourself. Sounds like a slogan for the Wansler fandom. <laughs> How bad can I be? I'm just helping the economy. God damn it, Grant. Why do you have to remind me of that? <laughs> oh, hello, little one. Are you a friend of my son's? He's always making new friends. I can't keep up. In any case, make yourself at home. I do hope Starla grows out of this state eventually. He needs to find himself a wife and settle down. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Mama say... <laughs> Mama say, you need to get laid, boy. <laughs> You need to get laid and get the fuck out of the house. <laughs> uh, no iPads, no TV, just a family living in the moment. If only he wants to rob his heart back then. I think he was too shy to take initiative. Poor boy. When she got engaged to Chujin, he didn't set foot outside for days. I eventually had to tell him to move on. It was very difficult. <sighs> Heartbreak is always tragic. I better start thinking about dinner. I wonder if Gilbert and Angie are busy. Hmm. I'm sure they're free af after all. There's never a bad time for a barbecue. Oh hell yeah. There really is never a bad time for barbecue. Barbecue is good all the time, every time. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, midnight snack. Someone just shoved some ribs right down my mouth while I'm asleep. There is never a bad time for barbecue. So they're not Mormons, or else she would have said wives. Ah, you're right. Okay, so they're probably part of that, like, 10% that's, like, something else. <gasps> Barbecued corn! You know what? That doesn't sound too bad. That did not sound bad at all. A picture of Starlo and Saroba as teenagers. Oh, that's adorable. Look at how dorky that son of a bitch is. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's adorable. Nothing special, just a lamp. Ooh. This is a cool room. Look at that. Look at that. We got space. Shit. It's all space. It's cool. What's this? Just some floor corn. You know how it is. You know what? I understand. A double-decker rocket ship, ready to blast off into pleasant dreams. See ya, space cowboy. Can I actually climb on? Okay, no. I can just look at it. Okay, cool. He looks so goofy. <laughs> Funeral, right after the cremation? Good time for barbecue. <laughs> Okay, so they're part of Heaven's Gate. Oh no. <laughs> Teenage Saroba has Alistair's hairstyle. Oh god. <laughs> Maybe they're related. A thick farmer's almanac written by Solomon sits on the dresser. It has several sticky notes poking out of the pages. A desk displaying western memorabilia and a sewing machine. The piece of fabric under the machine has been left unfinished. Oh, this is probably where he made his, uh, his, his setup, his getup, his, uh, his cosplay. Alright, alright. So, what's in this other room? Oh, I, I, I can't actually go in there. Is there actually a hall down here? Okay, no. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Um... I mean, I know they went somewhere, like, hey, let's go to the thing, 
we have to go talk there or something, but... Hold on. Teenage Saroba... Oh, okay, I already read that comment. Come pick me up, bitch. Hello, greetings. Hip, hip, hooray. What can I do for you today? We gon' travel, bitch. Where in the world would you like to fly? Just choose the place and the UGPS sign. Uh, let's go to Snowden. I... Because I, I think there's probably stuff that I can do over there. A very fine choice. I cannot scoff. Hop into my basket and we'll take off. Take off what? I ain't taking off shit, bro. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> Clover is just inside of the basket. <laughs> we have arrived without a scratch. The journey was fun, but it's time to... Dispatch! Just ring the bell for any further assistance. The UGPS will be there with little resistance. Cool. So I'm just curious to see if, uh, wait, I totally went the wrong way, didn't I? Uh, yeah, I went the wrong way. I was supposed to go the opposite way. You know what I keep forgetting? I have a run button. <laughs> I'm just walking everywhere so slow. Yeah, I think uh, Snowden is down here. I just have to... I have to find uh, Marlet. We all need sassy, sarcastic flight attendants. Understood. <gasps> Dove! My boy! <laughs> How are you? You look adorable. Clover! Hello! You sort of caught me in the middle of moving. But I don't mind taking a break to chat. What's on your mind? Oh, see this structure here? I have claimed it as my new residency. Of course, it's in no state for living at the moment. I will definitely need help on this construction end of things. Uh, not sure if Pops will like the close quarters, but I'm sure he'll get over it. He has a tendency to get a big head from time to time. <laughs> We're working on it. I hadn't thought of it until now, but we might have a crisis on our hands. Half of my luggage here is stocked with corn. Enough to last a week at most. But what then? I suppose I could trek back to my field, but still... That will only get me so far. I don't want to deal with corn withdrawals. Well, I have a place for you, bro. Hmm. I will be mulling this over over this sometime. Don't mind me. So, have you been journeying through the underground? Your bravery is inspiring. The ruins were only the beginning of your obstacles, I'm sure. I do regret troubling you. Very much so. But, with the glass half full mindset, fighting a low level monster first was good training. Right? Yes, it really was. You're too freaking adorable, you piece of shit. There are some pretty scary encounters to be had out there. I'm nothing compared to them. So please stay safe. You know, I find it strange. We only met mere hours ago, but for some reason, it feels like I've known you for years. Time is truly the puzzle we will never solve. Well, I better get back to it. I wish you all the luck in the world, Clover. Go do for others what you did for me. What did I do? Oh, damn, we couldn't ask him about the other question. But yes, look at this fluffy coat. It's so cute. Can I talk to Pops? I can. A collection of luggage protecting all of Dalv's fancy outfits. Ooh. 
Ooh, he has fancy outfits, huh? Interesting. Um, let's see. Who the hell are you? You listen. No cone has plan. Gonna go to top of Big Hill. Big, big hill. Can see hot land from Big Hill. Fire far away, not hurt, go. No cone proud of plan. No cone show intellectual promise. And get see fire. Uh -huh. Proud of you. Okay, so Bartlett wasn't over there. Ah, son of a bitch. I, st I, I, I know there's a complicated way of taking care of that, but I'm just not up to it right now. I'm just trying to look for Bartlett. <gasps> oh, look it! It's a little snow crab thing. Pinch, pinch. Just kidding. I'm so glad the real guard protects our home. Well, you're my home, really. My home's on my back, and I protect it at all costs. Or, it protects me. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. <laughs> <laughs> you're adorable. I love you. Uh, okay, I don't... Can I walk on the- Oh my god. Oh, you know what? Let's fall in the hole. I can't fall in the hole. Never mind. <laughs> Dinner tonight, Nashville hot tenders and flaming hot Cheetos. God damn. Oh, it's this guy. Um, actually, I was called over to break down this large boulder, but man, it looks real tiring. It'll probably be a while before anyone can enter. Mostly because I don't want to start. As I said, this could take a while. Just the journey to get here took all of my energy. Patience, buddy. You know what? That's fair. That's absolutely fair. In other news, does anyone have a fire extinguisher? Ugh. And, uh, probably a couple bottles of Pepto. So I might be completely wasting my time. Yeah, I completely wasted my time because I didn't run into Martlet once. But we got to see Delve, okay? So no, I take that back. I did not waste my time. I utilized my time beautifully because we got to see Delve and Pops. We got to see Delve in his little coat and it was adorable. And I want to take him home and stuff him in the box with Prince now. You can't stop me. Yeah, uh, die. I, I don't, I can't help you. Look at how cute he is. <sighs> Boris is here. Oh. Oh. What is he doing here? Is he trying to get cheats? Is he trying to spy on the on the competition? I always have a fire extinguisher sure to put out dishes, bush cat fires. <laughs> you know, I'm I at first I didn't see the word fires at the end. I I just read it as to put out dishes, bush cat, and I'm like, I why would I have a bush cat? That is never happening. Um, have I been over here? This looks very familiar. Oh yeah, it's the the hot springs. Okay, never mind. you. Strange. That wasn't a handsome bridge last I looked. Was it always that way? 
Where am I? Where are any of us? Where are any of us? He wants my chips. You know what? Don't give it to him. He doesn't deserve it. Or what kind of pudding you're referring to, sir? Oh, okay, so there's more to, to all this. Okay. Maybe Martlet's uh, further down here somewhere. The pudding is a bow character. Ah. Uh, wait a minute. I think this is Martlet's thing. There's a notebook on the counter, titled, My Puzzle Blueprints. This must be where Martlet sketches her puzzle ideas. But there's no Martlet. Martlet? Martlet? What the hell are you? I gotta go back! I wanna go back to the ruins! The dump was a total bust! No anime to be found at all. Just like eight identical piles of trash. It sucked. In the ruins, I could power up freely. No one minded me screaming down those purple halls. <laughs> Out here, there's all these monsters just waiting to judge me. Like, come on! I'm not disturbing the peace. I'm becoming God. <laughs> That's amazing. Hold on while I screenshot that. Oh my god. Got it. I'm not disturbing the peace. I'm becoming god. <laughs> Sorry for the attitude. The main character trait of my current power tier is easily pissed. Out of my control. What is this? The remains of your recent escapade. You hope Ava gets well soon, poor thing. A well-used tool bench. You can smell the sawdust that covers the surface. <sighs> Have I been here before? This looks new to me. The leather-bound book's title reads Martlet's Day to Day. Oh, this is Martlet's place. You flip to an early page and see an entry. Read it? Oh yeah. Entry three. So far, living on my own has been boring. I don't know what to do with myself most of the time. Sure, I have a TV, but monsters don't exactly produce much content. My mom says I need a job, but more importantly, I need a hobby. The guy who built my balcony seemed to enjoy what he was doing. Maybe I'll ask him to teach me how to... I don't know, nail planks of wood to houses. And thus began her quest to become Home Depot. It would be a start. Uvu. Or is that supposed to be like a beak? The, the V is supposed to be the beak. I, I see what you're doing there, Marlet. Continue? Yes. We're going to know all of Marlet's secrets. You flip through a few pages. Entry 8. I think this tinkering thing is for me. I knew my B- in art class had a purpose. And Mr. Chujin is so nice. Chujin. Why is that familiar? We've heard that name before, right? He quietly took my wings under his wing, and now I'm making wooden blocks. Sounds boring, but I'm working toward carving a bunch of them. 
to build one of those wooden tower games. Chujin thought it would be a good beginner project. Yes, the V is the beak. Now it's Happy Burb. Chujin is Soroba's husband. That's that's where the name came from. I remember now. Thank you, Rose. Continue? Absolutely. Entry 19. <clears throat> I had a conversation with Mr. Chujin last night. We're about to start making contraptions. Like robotics. Turns out, he specialized in engineering at the Steamworks. He said he doesn't talk about his past job much out here. Likes to keep things casual while helping out the townsfolk. So I asked him, why is he helping me like this? He said he has a daughter named... Kanako. Things are starting to come together right now. Over me. The world as it is is a dark place, he said. A place unfit for a kid. He believes that small acts of kindness will lead to a better world. Not only for him, for me, but for Kanika. So, yeah. Got a little deep there, but I get it. Him teaching me would, in theory, lead me to teaching someone else, etc., etc. Sounds like he wants to leave a lasting legacy or something. Guy's got big aspirations, that's for sure. Can't relate! Equal sign, peak equal sign. Amea is no longer dead. Yippee. Cool. Now put her in timeout. Oh wow, okay, we're gonna keep, we're just gonna keep reading her diary. <laughs> She's just in, inside, un, un, unknowing, completely oblivious to us just digging through her diary. Entry 27. Oh, couldn't procrastinate any longer. Mood. I had to get a job. <laughs> Sad big face. Signed up for the Royal Guard. I'm not one for combat, but with my new skills, I could make a mighty fine puzzle. I had to tell Chujin the good news, so I brought it up while we were on break. To my surprise, he wasn't happy. He said the job was dangerous. The humans themselves are dangerous. I don't want to believe what he told me, but... The look in his eyes was incredibly sincere. So, yeah. <coughs> On the bright side, I can stave off my newfound paranoia. Because I was assigned boring lab duty. Stand outside the lab doors and keep watch. Fuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
What? Aw, it's locked. We can't actually, like, break in. Okay, well, I mean, we got some good lore out of it, I guess, so. <laughs> I don't know if the fact Charlotte is a demon fan or she married Thomas is more confusing. Yes. Uh, I read like a child who snorted pixie sticks. Moon Prince, you are a child who starts pixie sticks. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> okay, so at least we know where Martlet lives. And that's her station. Um. Okay, I guess we can go back and actually continue the story. If I can find the... A UGS sign, actually. Journaling was really never my thing. Put a notebook in front of me and I'm gonna doodle stuff in instead of write. <laughs> That's fair. Growing up, I was more of a writer than a drawer. But, again, I just could not stick with it. I... I would just not do it consistently. So I didn't keep a journal. <laughs> I keep a digital journal. It's useful for when I'm mad at people. That's fair. You know what? I lied. Or actually, I misspoke. I did do some journal entries when I first went to therapy. Like 11 years ago. And I also was a digital diary. Like I typed it into my computer. I have those files somewhere. It would be really interesting to actually go back and see what Dish 11 years ago wrote. What was 11 years ago? I was 23? No, 24. What did 24 year old Dish? What was on his mind 11 years ago? <laughs> I mean, you're right, to be honest. I'm a little chaotic, but that's a part of my princely charm. Yes, it is. Now stop eating the strawberry go-gurt. That's for green sleeves. All right, Mr. Whale. I'm ready to fuck off. Let's get out of here. Wildies Farms. No, no. West Mines. Oasis Valley. I uh, think we gotta go to the farm. I've been keeping a journal as of late. I wish I started doing it sooner because those thoughts from younger me are invaluable. Oh, I agree, dude. Like, it's it's really fun to like look back and read stuff that you wrote back then. Or like, what's more common for me is listening to a song or a track that I made from a long time ago. Yeah, it's it's really invaluable. I'm glad that I saved all that work and I still have most of it around. I don't have everything. I unfortunately lost the laptop that had a lot of my early, early, early stuff, but I totally get it. I'm just not committed enough to keeping a journal, unfortunately, so. <laughs> eh, what are you gonna do? All right, so before I move on, I'm going to save again. Let's put this place behind us, pal. What do you think I'm trying to do? of no return the point of no return it was a maya not me trust uh-huh i have my therapist's phone number so i randomly text her sometimes till our next appointment oh that's cool i never got that privilege <laughs> i have her email address so like if i need to ask her a question or if i'm having a crisis i i just email her 
The last time I kept a journal, I died from cringe. <laughs> that was 18 years ago, and it was the first time I actually died. <laughs> Damn, what's up, Matt? <laughs> Welcome to the stream. <laughs> you know what, though? Mood. Like, like, if I kept a journal thing in high school, like, high school dish was definitely cringe. <laughs> but, you know, that was over half of my life ago, so... It would be a funny cringe, you know what I mean? <laughs> there you are. What took you so long? I was about to come looking for you. So, the steam works. May I ask why we're here? Because of this. The mask Kanako made for you. Yes. You see, Clover, Kanako is me and Chujin's only child. You haven't seen her around because she... Hey, everything will be okay. I know how tough you are. You can move past this. I'm positive. There's no need, because she's alive. I feel her presence as we speak. The land. Precisely. Clover, you may not know this, but there is a lab in Hotland. An inquiry for the Fallen Down was sent out some time ago. I didn't know what else to do. In my time of despair, I sent Kanako with them. It's been far too long and I haven't heard anything. I must travel to the lab to find out where my daughter is. I'm proud of you, Saroba, stepping out and taking charge. You've been in a rut lately. It was tough to watch. So, why travel through the Stainworks, particularly? It's the quickest route to Hotland from here. Nothing but abandoned rooms, as far as I know. I have Chujin's old passcodes for any locked doors as well. Solid plan. If you need me, I would be happy to accompany you. I don't know how ugly things at the lab may get. You need to stay here and take care of the town. I believe you owe your posse an apology. <sighs> You're right. I'll take Clover with me. They've proven to be skilled on several fronts. Why are you giving me that look? An excellent choice. I trust Clover to deliver justice out there. Alright, we've discussed enough. Let's get moving. My therapist knows how unhinged I am. Speaking of crisis, I should tell her about my crisis right now. Oof. Chujin, you can't just use password for all your accounts. Fuck you! I'll see you later, Starlo. Whatever happens, remember that this is for Chujin's legacy. Chujin, not Chugin. Chugin. He be chugging that beer, yo. Oh, Clover, for I go, I forgot to give you this. I swear to God, you got the deputy badge. Ooh. Despite a few hiccups, our little adventure was a blast. And I'll be seeing you around, partner. Nerd. <laughs> All right, that was cute. I'm so proud. Remember, I'm in charge. Stay close by, and we'll reach our destination soon. That's, uh... That's, uh... Literary for speak for something's about to go wrong. God, you walk fast, dude. Keep up, Clover. I'm holding my run button down. We don't have all the time in the world. I see something. Follow me. What the hell? <sighs> Guess I should have expected this. In its prime, this was the main power source of the underground. That obviously was many years ago. 
Until we breathe life back into this thing, we can't progress. There's some kind of console here. It's a Sega Genesis. My time has come! A man's just being a man, Roleplay Chat. An idiot. Sounds about right. Maybe one of Chijin's codes will work. Just give me a second. In the meantime, you can uh, wait over in the corner or something. I need to concentrate right now. Or I can just run around like an idiot. Woo! Alright, so we can go right, we can go left, or we can go up. Where are we going, chat? I'm going to let you decide. While Saroba is uh, trying to figure out this contraption. All right, we got to vote for up. Right. Okay, we got to vote for up and we got to vote for right. We're not going down on a go. That's not one of the options. I swear to God, if one of you says left. <laughs> Uh, you know what we'll do? Le God damn it. <laughs> no, you already said up. And you know what? Since you said left, we're canceling your vote. We're going right. Uh. Yeah, mm, okay. Well, there's not much we can do there. Let's go left. Aha! Progress. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's another puzzle? Um. What, what is happening? Oh. I gotta get him inside of the oh okay yeah I had to get them inside of the uh, the, the the middle there okay cool pink lemonade Ooh, I want some I haven't had pink lemonade in a while okay I'm gonna hit the hay I'm EB good night everyone good night dish good night Suki have a good night if you need to restore power you gotta find a power regulator first if this settlement's got a scarab class SRV, you can use your arc cutter to, to the bottom panel to access the regulator drawer. Awesome. I don't have any of that. Will my glass ammo work? That should work. You know what? Be oh, there's... Oh, okay. I see. That's a wall. There we go. Alright, let's see what's over here. Ah, another puzzle. Interesting. How about a Honda class HRV? Ooh, what about a what about a Honda CRX? <gasps> My favorite car. All right, let's see here. Okay, we got those two. We got the- oh, son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> I honestly have no idea how I did that. But we got it, so cool. More pink lemonade! Give me. I actually like it better than regular lemonade, to be honest. Hey, Saroba, uh, how's it? Oh, wait a minute. You're you're gonna get mad. Okay, I'm just gonna go up here and ignore you. 
Uh, uh, howdy. Another team up? You're wasting your time, buddy. So far, these monsters have only brought you misfortune. I feel like following that lady's orders won't end any differently. Especially with that lab business. Just try your best to move things along, not get sidetracked. Hopefully we can talk soon. Good luck, Clover. Fuck off. Let's get you saved. And I'll repeat after me. Dear Jesus. <laughs> Go down. There's nothing down there, bro. Watch, I'll prove it to you. We just came from down there. Ida, Ida. See, like... Like, there's nothing here. Are they selling crystal meth? They're producing it. We gotta cook. Walter. Alright. What the... This looks like a laundromat. Are we in a laundromat? A pair of cargo jeans is stuck to the table. It's been there for a while. The smell of the old, unwashed clothes makes you feel queasy. That's disgusting. The chute is clogged with strange-looking plants. The door is jammed shut. The door is jammed shut. The door is jammed shut. You find a stick of beef jerky inside the machine. Take it? Hell yeah. You got beef jerky. Hell yeah. Nothing more trustworthy than washing machine beef jerky. Ooh, what's this? You peer inside the chamber. It's far too dark to make anything out. Alright, same thing. Alright, they're, they're all probably the same thing. You know what? Before I move forward, I'm going to talk to Soroba real quick. Because we did get two of those lights to come on. And we didn't talk to her yet. Almost got it. Didn't think this would actually work. <sighs> that must be the neighborhood laundromat. Oh no. God, that takes me back to being a kid in the 90s. Back when apartments didn't always come with washer and dryer. So my mom would take us... We had to go with her on weekends to like the laundromat to help her wash clothes. Damn, that's a that's a blast from the past. Although sometimes if you got lucky, some of the laundromats had like arcade machines. I used to play a lot of Street Fighter too on on them. Or sometimes there was Bubble Bubble. That was fun. The only fart part of the laundromat anyway. I wasn't a big fan of washing clothes. E. What up, Numa? E to you too. Washing machine jerky. Smells like detergent. <laughs> Dear Jesus, I've been a good boy this year, and I would like a chainsaw for Christmas. Thanks. Signed, Little Timmy. I knew it. Jesus is Santa. Eating the beef jerky out of the washing machine is better than eating the Tide Pods. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Hmm. I wonder what the switch will do. Um. Okay. We powered up chemical plant zone. I remember the laundromat I lived near turned into a Brazilian jiu-jitsu dojo. <laughs> Interesting. Better than eating the dish pods. Don't eat the dish pods! Wait. Something escaped from here. You know, I should save real quick. 
Uh, my washing machine keeps breaking, so we're used to going to the laundromat. I don't go because I'm scared of people sometimes and because it's loud. <laughs> That's fair. If I can do my laundry at home, that is fantastic because uh, going to the laundromat takes time, costs a lot, and it's just really nice to have all of the, like, the units at home. I played the Star Wars pinball when my dad would take us to Pizza Hut, and I ended up making our stay a whole 30 minutes longer for the high score. You know what, Numa? That's perfectly valid. And wow, that's another memory. I remember there used to be a lot more sit-in Pizza Huts. And yeah, there would be pinball. Sometimes there would be an arcade game, but yeah, I remember playing pinball. I'm terrible at pinball. I know you're supposed to, like, aim the ball towards certain ramps or to push down certain buttons in a certain order to get high scores, but I don't know how to do that. Most of the time, I'm just smacking the button like an idiot. And that's probably why. But I love pinball machines. They're so cool. I wish I had one. That's probably on my bucket list. I want a pinball machine. Either that or I want to customize one and make it into, I don't know, something. I think that'd be really cool. Hey, what up, Soroba? We got some shit working. Hey! Uh, I'm washing my clothes right now. It took me a lot of motivation to do it. My dad and sister love pinball. There's too much to keep an eye on for me. That's very true. But I don't know. It's just... Pinball is just very satisfying to play. Especially when you make the right shot or you hit a right button somewhere. Yeah, there's a lot of lights and noises. But I don't know. It just... I'm able to kind of focus, even though it's a lot. I can't explain it. I love pinball. Pinball is great. I suck at it. But it's great. Uh, man, that was over 18 years ago, or around that. <laughs> that sounds about right, dude. Like, God, when was the last time I went to a sit-in Pizza Hut restaurant? I think it was in high school. Back in, like, 2003, 2004. And that one had a pinball machine, too, I remember. Uh, if you ever come up here, there's a pinball museum real close to where I live. I am going to wherever the hell you live, Grant. I don't know when, but I am. I found pinball rather intuitive. <laughs> That's cool. I don't know life. Same. Bonus points if there's a Simpsons pinball machine. You know what? At the uh, convention I recently went to at Zapcon, there was a Simpsons pinball machine. I played it once. I had fun. But I had a lot more fun with this machine. It's not exactly like a pinball machine. Well, it's kind of the pinball machine because, like, you hit balls up the thing or whatever, but it's like a baseball game. And so you press a button and a pinball pops up and rolls down, and you gotta swing. You gotta hit a lever, a lever, to swing a bat. And depending on where the ball lands, if it lands in a particular hole or whatever, it's, it counts as, like, a double or a single or an out. Dude, I play that so much. That's probably, like, one of my favorites. Yes! Baseball pinball. <gasps> I love that game. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I'm going crazy over pinball right now. Let's get back to the game. It's working. Wait. What have you been up to? Nothing. Oh. I wasn't actually doing anything this whole time, was I? <sighs> Alright. You're clearly more capable of problem solving. I suppose you should lead the way from now on. Just head away from here and we'll reach Hotline eventually. But first, I want to show you something that escaped. Look at this, Saroba. Do, do you not care about this? Really? Okay, fine. I guess we're just gonna go west. Uh, I watch from the sidelines and cheer them on. I watch them play pinball and other old video games when we went to a retro game con. Yes! That's what I went to uh, a few weeks ago. 
so much fun. It's like the best time ever. I completely derailed everything. <laughs> you know what, Numa? That's okay. It's you. Yes, you were the agent of derailment, but that's because I have a pinball switch in my brain, and you turned it off. So, I'm, I'm switching it off. Turn off. <laughs> Waluigi Pinball. Oh, God. You know what? If that exists, I will play it. Um, we went west, Saroba. This isn't Hotland. Wait, west is to the left, isn't it? Oh, I'm such a fucking idiot. This still isn't Hotland. <laughs> Are you supposed to go up here? And then left? It's a laundromat! <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. How was I... D does, does this look like a door or like an entryway to anybody? That just looks like a... Like a glass tube holding that pink liquid. I thought that was part of the wall. Am I, am I the only dumb one here? <laughs> Sarupa is bad at directions, apparently. But that looks like a wall, doesn't it? That doesn't look like something you can walk through. Anyway, it's so hard to see with my glasses. There's so many bite marks on the lenses. Glasses are not for eating. They're for seeing through. Yes, that looks like a door. You're just blind. God damn it. All right, I'm going to take it. No, I'm not going to take this off. I'm going to run. Works! Steve. Works! Steve. Works! Yes, Steam does work. I was playing the game on Steam yesterday. What luck. Turn the power on and the whole facility goes insane. Since you're now the leader and all, how about you run ahead and turn the steam off? I think I see a switch over there, so... No problem! Right. Don't worry, I'll catch him. I thought she was gonna run into the goddamn steam. <laughs> it doesn't look like a door. Exactly. That looks like an entrance to a confined space. OSHA says you need an attendant for that. Well, I don't know if the underground really cares about keeping things OSHA certified. That might be a problem. So that's what happens if you run into the smoke. Got it. See? No sweat. Uh, that was a little bit of sweat. Just, just, just a little bit. Oh. Son of a bitch. Well, we can't go west. We gotta go north. What the hell? What is this? What is this? Okay, that's just scenery, I guess. Oh, shit, sure, can catch these hands. <gasps> sea of Pink Lemonade! That sounds really sticky, but I would still jump in. Goes into a confined space and dies from lack of oxygen. <laughs> Workplace violence is not an OSHA approved activity. Oh, really? Well. What the fuck? Okay. I guess we're up here now. Raised path. Hey, Flowey didn't show up. Very strange. Very strange indeed. Something's gonna happen, isn't it? What is this? Oil spill. Excellence in Engineering Award. Dr. Rutherford Oscar. Decency in Engineering Award. Professor Daniels. You tried an Engineering Award, <laughs> Mr. Chuchin Kitsukane. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's just rude. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your participation award for trying to be an engineer. What the frick is my new vocal stem? 
I don't know, what is the frick your vocal stim do? What about workless violence? You know, I think that's okay unless I get violent. We do not appreciate violins violence. Yes. He never told me he won an award. Uh, I'm proud of him. I'm glad you are. Greatness in C minus minus. Is that like C plus plus? But like. All right, good, cool shit. What are these plants, bro? They kind of freak me out. I forgot the. Oh god! Oh, slow pan to the left. I. Steam crashed for me for a second. Yeah, I, I saw that pop up too. But everything should be okay now. I hope. Uh. Uh, let's see. Yep, stream is going crazy now. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming as such viewers will experience buffing. No! Yeah, sorry about that, guys. My internet has been acting very, very strangely today. Um, you know what? Looking at the time, I, I, you know what? That's honestly a pretty good stopping point, I think. Because, uh, yeah, my internet is being really, really weird. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we're going to go ahead and end this poll here. Who is the most bean? Half of you said Hat Kid, which means nine of you said Hat Kid. Second place, Nico, then Temmie, then Madeline. You know what? I might have to agree with that. I love all of these characters, but Hat Kid might be a bit more bean than the others. Just a bit. Just a bit. But anyway, guys, thank you. Bokid is B2. Yes, Bokid is B. I, I, but I couldn't add her to the list. I, I wanted to add a, a video game character from different video games. So, And Hat Kid is, you know, the most popular. So, you know, maybe in the next time I'll do it. But anyways, thank you guys for joining me tonight. I hope you have a good rest of your night. And remember, 